There are still many questions tonight into what led a man to open fire on two officers on a college campus in Virginia. 27-year-old Alexander Wyatt Campbell is now facing murder charges. He shot and killed the two officers when they confronted him on the Bridgewater College campus. Campbell then took off. He was later arrested after an hours-long manhunt. The two officers who were killed earlier this week, 55-year-old Officer John Painter and 48-year-old Campus Safety Officer J.J. Jefferson, they were known as the dynamic duo on campus, and they were friends, close friends. The Bridgewater College president describing the officers as well-known and well-loved. Jacob Painter is John's nephew, and he is joining us live tonight. Uh, thank you for giving us some time, and I am very sorry for you and for everyone um, who knew and loved John and JJ. You're welcome. I appreciate your condolences very much. Jacob, have you learned anything more about what your uncle did earlier this week oh, to, to protect others? Like, it, like, I don't even think he would realize how many people he touched in this community. Um, just looking around and seeing all the comments and seeing, it's just the overflow of comments. I have literally gotten messages from people saying, Hey, will you say a prayer tonight to your uncle? Because after the incident happened because of him and because of JJ, my son or my daughter is at home in bed right now. And like, just seeing all these positive comments and what he did for the community and not just that community, but just the grottos and other communities surrounding. It's unbelievable. Mm. Like he touched way more lives than I think he realized mm. way more lives. You're right, Jacob. And they're both heroes. Have investigators shared with you and other family members, the events of that day and what took place? No, ma'am. Mm -hmm. No, ma'am. I'm here. Yeah. I'm just here to talk about uncle John and, JJ and all the positivity that they spread hmm. throughout the community and the heroes that they are. I mean, they were just two great men. Tell me more about them. What do you want people to know about, about your uncle? Just the stand up guy that he was like, he, like he was legitimately my best friend. Like I looked up to him. He, he made me become, taught me to be a better person. Like when you couldn't find the words, like, there, you needed something and you're like, man, I need to go talk to somebody. But like, you know, there's some people you talk to and they just don't know what to say. He always knew he had the words to, to, to say to you that would help you like, man, Uncle John, that helped me out. Like mm. you always know what to say. And he was just that guy. Like he didn't care. He cared about himself, but like he put himself second and put everyone else first. Did he ever and, talk uh, to he, you about his job and about what, what was important to him as a police officer oh my and gosh, protecting he, other people? His job meant the world to him. I mean, he retired and went back to do it again <laughs> after he retired. That shows how much right there that his job meant to him. Like, it's, it's incredible. I mean, it doesn't get any... You can't show how much more you care about your job than that right there to retire and then go back <laughs> to a college and do that after you retire. I mean, that just showed me, I mean, I remember giving him heck. I was like, uncle John, I've never seen somebody that's retired work more than they do before they were retired. Hmm. Jacob, he loved it. He, he loved it. And JJ was the same. JJ was the same way. I mean, he's, he loved his job. He had my uncle's back. Hmm. He was his best friend. He would have never have left his side. He was stuck by his side. Yeah. They were buddies, uh, seeing those they pictures were. of them smiling. And Jacob, I appreciate that that you're smiling tonight and you're coming on yeah, and you're, ta you're talking about your uncle you. and, and the good things. And, and this was a tragedy. I'm going to but... you right now. Yeah. <laughs> it's I'm trying. I'm, yeah. It's overwhelming. Um, I know it's, it's difficult. Uh, I know you guys have a lot of difficult days ahead, but um, there's no better way to honor uh, your uncle John you. and JJ than to share um, not only their heroic efforts of that day, but the lives they lived. And they were yeah. passionate about what they did and they died together. Uh, Jacob Painter, thank you again. And my blessings to you and your family. I appreciate it. Thank you for your condolences. Take care of yourself. Thank you. You too. Thank you, ma'am.
Thanks for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.